I look like a deranged kindergartner. So if you're wondering at this point why I have these pigtails way up at the top of my head, that's because today I'm going to show you how to make pony falls. Pony falls are the long forgotten art of the 90s and you could not walk into a golf club without seeing at least 20 girls wearing hair extensions made from this Kinecolon fiber I'm going to be showing you and it's the pony falls that we used to make from them. You girls today, you got it easy. Back in the day, we did not have these fun little silky hair clip-in pieces that you could just put right in under your hair and then make it just sort of blend in with the rest of your hair and look as if you have long hair. Hell no. Back in the day, if you wanted to look like you had long hair, you either had to make a hair piece or if you had the money to do it, you can either get braided hair extensions put in or dreadlock hair extensions put in. So what we did too was we made pony falls. And it's using this lovely synthetic fiber called Kineclon fiber. You can see here it says 100% Kineclon. I'm probably going to be doing it backwards. I am. Try that again. 100% Kineclon. Still backwards. So as you can see, it was super full. It has a really great crimped look to it, and that is exactly what we were going for. We wanted it to look full and crimped and teased out. But we will leave that for another time because that is not the look I will be recreating for you. Back in the day, I used to actually have my own hair business online. I used to sell hair extensions, custom made, and they were mostly dreadlocks. That's what I specialized in because I'm just really good at making dreadlocks or silky hair pieces. And I actually found a trick working with Kineclon Fiber that I can actually turn these silky. So I'm going to go through the materials that you're going to need to do this. So obviously you're going to need to find your natural color. My hair is black, so it's a no-brainer right there. And you're also going to need an accent color because we're going to look like we have streaks. I have a bunch of colors behind, which you cannot see, but this one's in the bag. So this one is blonde. And I think we're probably going to use pretty much every bag that I have. So this is going to be very interesting. So the other bits and pieces we're going to need are... Four hair elastics, I literally just shot one across the room. <laughs> four of these, two for each pony fall. As many as these little bobby pins as you could possibly find. These are like gold, and if it has your own hair attached to it, party bonus. And finally, the hair dryer. Mine came from a thrift store, as you can see, the price tag is still on it, and it hails from about 1986. The reason that you want them super old is because back in the day, they did not give a crap about the condition of your hair. Fry it, they don't care. So you want this to get super hot, which it's going to, but we're going to hold it a distance away because we definitely don't want to melt the hair. I'm going to go over everything before I start as much as possible because obviously you're not going to be able to hear me over this because this tiny thing sounds like a jumbo jet. All that being said, let's get started now, shall we? Hello and welcome to the other side of my table. So, getting started, I opened one bag up already, and as you can see, it is folded in half. That's how it comes. I'm going to open the next bag. I hope you have a good vacuum because this stuff gets everywhere. It kind of has a template already made up for you because as you can see, it is folded in half and it's tied in the middle with a rubber band. And we're actually going to be going over that and doing the same thing with the hair elastic. So you're just going to want to kind of run your fingers through it and gently, because this stuff knots really easily, kind of shuffle it like a deck of cards. And that's what we're also going to do when mixing the colors in. And when you do this, it gives it a little bit more of a natural look because the ends are going to be all different lengths. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of leave that as is. Remember the other colors I was telling you I had? I have a bunch that were previously used, as you can see we have, that actually, that looks, looks so weird, it looks sky blue, but it's not, this is actually purple, the highlighter yellow, orange, this is sky blue. And building on that we have cobalt, blonde, this is emerald green. And then pink and some other blend that I made. I have no idea. I have a uh, blend in there. Let's get these bags opened up. What is this? Get in there. What else do we have? Holy shit, I'm making a mess. Some orange. 
We can, let's just do some fall colors. I mean, September, right? Okay. So again, it gets a little bit knotty, so you gotta be super careful because this can very easily become a huge disaster. That looks like fire. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shuffle these like a deck of cards because we want everything to be blended in. So I'm gonna pretty much speed this up and play some music while I do that. First, we wanna divide this in half because things will get crazy real fast. I wanna get your feet involved. There we go. And on to shuffling. Expect to lose some bits, as you can see on the bottom. You're going to want to use a lot more base color, your natural color, than you do accent color because then it's going to look a lot more seamless and like it might actually be your own hair unless you're going for something a little bit more over the top, which obviously you can mix and match. This, the more difficult part is figuring out if you have the same amount of base color in each. So once I blast this with the heat, I'll know for sure, but by that point, it'll be too late. We're done. Now we just need to get the perfect volume for each, making sure that we have the exact same amount. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the closer the better. Or else you're going to be looking lopsided. So once I blast this with the heat, they're going to decrease dramatically in volume. You may just want to keep them like this. I kind of, you know, I'm kind of into this right now. So part two is turning this into a pony fall. We're going to take this and wrap it around the hair piece like this. Say this is the hair. We're gonna pull it through like that. I shall show you. So, taking the hair, I'm gonna put it over my wrist and then just kind of roll it this way. Pull my thumb through, creating a knot like this. Ta-da! And then to secure it, use my pizza. Uh, there we go. There we go. So that's actually going to keep this from coming loose. Hoping they're even. We'll see. So this is the part where all those bobby pins are required. Now, I'm going to point out that I have not done this in at least a decade, so see how this looks. I can't even do it anymore. So for about a minute and a half, you're gonna look like a juggalo. Don't worry, it'll pass. Hope I don't mess this up. I'll also stand up so you can get a good look at this. 
one of them I dropped on the floor and dropping them is like the kiss of death so you have to be careful. Do not drop them. <sighs> Here we go. Bring it through. And then, all goes well, wrap the braid around it. And then bobby pin it down. Here we have it, finished product. Um, length, super long. I actually had to trim it a few times and obviously it could be trimmed a lot more depending upon how long or short you'd like it. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And I was thinking, you know, it'd be a damn shame to see these things go to waste, especially so close to Halloween using Halloween colors. So send me a private message, first come, first serve, and these babies are yours. Bye-bye, don't forget to subscribe.